Hamburg fans, welcome back to another episode of the Hamburg Career Mode. Today, we have a massive, massive fixture in the Bundesliga and another big match in the Europa League, leg two in the round of 16. Let's get into the episode. I am extremely excited for this one. So as you can see by the calendar, we're finishing off the month of March today, and we're going to start off the episode with a one versus two battle. It will be Bayern Munich versus Hamburg, and I'll show you why it's a big, 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 big match in just a second when you when I show you the standings. Then, of course, we have an away fixture leg two against Wolfsburg in the Europa League where we have a 3-0 lead. So Wolfsburg is in big trouble. And then we finish off the episode with a home match against Union Berlin. And this is why the match against Bayern Munich is crucial for us to win. There is an eight-point gap between us and Bayern Munich. If we win against Bayern Munich, it will be a five-point gap with nine matches remaining. If we lose to Bayern Munich, it's going to be an 11-point gap and we probably can't catch him. Well, in the Europa League, as you guys can see in the round of 16 after leg one we do have a 3-0 aggregate lead it's gonna be very tough for Wolfsburg to get back into this one I have a feeling we're gonna probably move into the round of eight the quarterfinals but of course before we focus on the Europa League we got to focus on this match against Bayern Munich they are very very strong it is Kane it is Coman Musiala Antony's at Bayern Munich we've seen him before Limer Kimmich Mendes Danso Kevin Danso was there that's one of their starting uh, center backs now Delit Bowie and Chesney and Nets very 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 strong unfortunately because of fitness issues we just played the leg one against Wolfsburg a couple of days ago we now have to face Bayern some of our players are unfit so guys like Chalanoglu and Pepe will have to get the day off uh, Ludovic Rice is going into Chalanoglu's position Lavia will come in into Ludovic Rice position and then Bargy Rooney Bargy will come in on that right hand side other than that it's as strong as it gets it's our best lineup it really is we are at home though at the Volkspark Stadion against Bayern Munich so maybe we can get a victory plus we're playing in the snow so it's gonna be a little slippery the winter coats are out, but so are the Hamburg scarves. Harry Kane is leading the charge for Bayern Munich. He's the top goal scorer in the Bundesliga. Biggest match of the Bundesliga season. First versus second, Hamburg versus Bayern. What can we expect from Bayern Munich? I'm not sure. We got to keep breaking their lines. That's a nice pass right there. Nice pass. That's a not. Oh, is that a good pass? Kind of. Kevin Danso gets back. Decent start for us so far. Decent start. We're not giving Bayern Munich much, but to be fair, they haven't really had the ball. So, Brandaric. We see the run being made by Solbakken, but it's it's not really a good run, is it? No, it's not. We have to go through Romeo Lavia here. Romeo. Nice pass to Ludovic Rice. He'll take the space. Ludovic Rice. Rooney gets in behind. Broya! Yes! Oh my! Oh wow! We didn't expect that one! How did that go in? Chesney made a mock of it! I don't know what he did there, but it's 1-0 Hamburg! Armando Broya, Broya, Broya gives us the 1-0 lead against Bayern Munich, guys! Lavia. L Rice. Out wide to Rooney Bargy. We have the momentum going forward through Ludovic Rice. Rice. Ferai. Ah, they're not giving us any space. We got to go back and re-go again here. Rice. Can we put it in the box? Oh, nice touchback by Solbakken. And, and that's going to be half time. A good first half for us. We are up 1-0 against Bayern Munich. As the second half gets underway, we know that Bayern Munich will probably bring something in the second half here. We, we know it. We, so we, we're going to have to kind of withstand that storm. Rooney. Nice pass out wide to Ludovic Rice. Rice in playing a more attacking role this, this match. Holding on to the ball. Rooney! Rooney! Shot! Kevin Danso is in the way. 57 minutes in. Bayern is making changes. They're bringing on Barella instead of Kingsley Coman. We're going to go all the way to the edge of the box to Emmanuel Ferai. Is that Ludovic? That's Ludovic Rice. He's going to have a shot. <gasps> Excuse me! That's got to be goal of the season. I am speechless. I'm at a loss for words. I, I can't even yell or scream right now because that was uh, uh, filthy. That was disgusting. Off his head, bouncing off a little bit. That's that's long. That is far away. That is 30 yards uh, at least. Maybe 25, maybe 30. That That's... Oh my. I'm gonna puke. That's that's how gross that was. 2-0 Hamburg. And Anthony is finally coming off. Paulo Dybala is coming on. Anthony shouldn't be playing at Bayern Munich. Yes, Broya steps in. Lavia. Outlet pass to Rooney Bargy. Rooney Bargy. Barging forward. He's going to barge through their door. Rooney. Rooney. Oh, I didn't know what to do if we should lay it off or shoot. Or, but Ferai still has the ball. Ferai. 
They're gonna give Fedeye the space. They're gonna give Fedeye the space! Chesney with a save. It's not a great shot by Emmanuel Fedeye. Nowhere to go. Delit. Kimmich. Also nowhere to go. They're wasting time. 85 minutes in. We might get this victory here. We might get a clean sheet against Bayern too. Again, I'm talking too soon here, but... Holding off Harry Kane. Someone help him. Yes, Buka. Triangles, triangles. There's the outlet pass. Haji. Inside. Inside to Mahaila. Mahaila carrying forward. Mahaila. Lavia. The ref is going to call it there. And that's fine. That is completely fine. 92 minutes. 2 0 Hamburg against Bayern. Are we back in the title race? Yeah, it looks like we are back in the title race, guys. Five points. Five point gap between us and Bayern with nine matches left to play. That was a humongous victory. Absolutely humongous. As big as it gets. Five point gap. And there's a seven point gap between us and Leipzig. Uh, who is in third we've solidified that second place spot but now it's time for us to reach Bayern Munich but now it is time for what you guys have all been waiting for second leg against Wolfsburg at the VFL Wolfsburg Arena we are have a 3-0 aggregate lead so we're gonna start a little bit of a rotational lineup to conserve some energy of some players we have other games coming up obviously uh, it's a tough tough schedule very very condensed as you've seen so this is the way that we're gonna start Mihaila Broya and Pepe will start as the front three Hadji will come in. Buka will come in and Rice will stay in the starting 11 as well. That's the midfield. Bradaric, Valentini, Dara O'Shea and Yasic will be our back four and Lunin is of course in net. All we gotta do is go to Wolfsburg and not mess it up. That's the plan. Wolfsburg is coming in. They know what they gotta do. They're down 3-0. They need three goals, guys. That's what they need. Bert Leno knows they, they need to score three goals and he can't really let anything else in. So they're in, uh, they're in big trouble. While we're coming out, we're pumped, we're happy. But the Wolfsburg fans are still hopeful so let's put all of that to bed it's allowed vfl wolfsburg arena as it is kickoff time for the second leg will we get to the round of eight the quarterfinals but we have to sustain or abstain from letting in any goals by wolfsburg they do need three though so, so, it's, so it's a lot it's a big ask from them it really is they need three and they can't concede so uh ennis unal starts off wolfsburg strong but uh, we will get the ball back through ludovic rice here rice to broya broya to pepe pepe out wide. Pepe still has the legs. He, oh, look at him go, guys. He's chugging along. We'll lay it off. Buka! With a cannon. It's blocked. Little triangles, little simple passes. Little blocks like that. Cherny. Inside to Gerhardt. Step in. Beautiful step in by Dara. Broya. And he muscles around the defender. We'll lay it off to Pepe. Pepe. Buha again! It's blocked. Buha has had several opportunities. Every time Buha is in the starting lineup, he seems to be making a name for himself. Buha has been a very, very good signing for us over the last two seasons, and I don't think uh, Pavel Buha should go anywhere. He's been a very, very crucial part of the squad going forward and its success. As Svanberg tries to do some trickery in the back, they're, they're kind of on the attack, but they're not really doing much as Valentini steps in here. And he'll plays an outlet pass to Iannis Haji. Haji, can he get around the defender? Not really, but we'll play it to Mihaila. Mihaila is faster than Haji, but we'll play it off to Armando Broya and we'll play it to Steven Bergwijn. <laughs> oh my gosh. Arnold, Maximilian Arnold is on the attack for Wolfsburg. He's trying to do everything possible for them. And Mihaila will just clear. And that's half time. That's it. A very, very uneventful first half. And that's the way we want to keep it. That's fine. Nil, nil. I'm okay with that. Second half underway, guys. Can we maybe get another goal? I'm not sure. We're not conceding, so that's good. That's 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 the one positive about this fixture so far. We're not conceding. We're not really letting Wolfsburg have any solid opportunities. But maybe here. Maybe here. Yes, they will get one. That's not good. Okay. They still need two, though. They still need two goals. It's not our strongest lineup, like I said. They get one back. It's 3-1 on aggregate. We are very sloppy. Good thing we have that 3-0 lead. This is a very, very boring game. We haven't created much going forward. We really haven't. We don't have that urgency. Maybe it's because the players know that uh, we have the 3-0 lead, so we're all kind of just sitting back. Uh, we're going to try and create something, though. We're going to give it our best shot. Yasic, we see Broya making the run. Nice pass from Adis Yasic. And maybe here, Broya. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. There it is. We haven't had many opportunities in this match, but Adis Yasic makes a beautiful pass to Armando Broya. He gets 
in behind the defender one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and he will make no mistake from there guys it is 1-1 one, 4-1 one, one on aggregate and we're gonna make three changes since it's 4-1 on aggregate Bobby Golazzo will come on Volpato will come on and Tong Hyun Yun will also come on yes Tong Hyun Yun is being featured in the Europa League love to see that Gerhard Maximilian Arnold nice ball to Enes Unal nice back heel nice play very very nice play but Lunin is there well there's only nine minutes left and they need three goals so it's not gonna happen it's definitely not happening guys or is it or is it happening no oh Pavlidis just came on and that was almost three two or four two Volpato is trucking back Patades Volpato is there Volpato's trying to cover Patades Cherny gets behind the behind us here but Bradaric steps in. Bradaric have him, has him covered nicely. Parades. My gosh, man. These guys are moving so fast. <laughs> All right. 2-1 for Wolfsburg. 4-2 on aggregate in the stoppage time, really. So that's, that's it. We're going to lose this match. We didn't start our strongest lineup, but uh, we kept it competitive. We kept it close. 2-1 for Wolfsburg. But the aggregate is just not there for them. And that's the final whistle. We will progress. As you hear the Wolfsburg fan boo, they're all booing. The coach's not happy. We're very happy. We are going home. And we are going to the round of eight, the quarterfinals of the Europa League. Before we see our next opponent in the Europa League, guys, in the quarterfinals, hopefully we've been drawn. Fingers crossed. We'll check it out after this match right here. We got to take care of the match against Union Berlin in the Bundesliga. We are at home at the Volkspark Stadion. Our lineup is fit. Everyone is healthy. And I think we can get three points. They're a mid-table side. So hopefully we can sim it and get a big three points here. Nil-nil draw. I don't know if I like that. But you know what? Bayern Munich also drew a match. So we didn't lose any points. Unfortunately, we didn't gain any points on Bayern Munich. We still a five-point gap. 26 matches played. Bayern, I believe, drew 2-2 against Bochum out of all clubs. So they drew 2-2 and we drew against Union Berlin. Yeah, they were an okay side. I thought maybe we should have beat them. RB Leipzig, they are behind us still, guys, in third place on 48 points. Frankfurt is also tied with RB Leipzig on 48 points. Bayer Leverkusen has made a run. They're on 46 points in, uh, in fifth. And Wolfsburg has dropped down to sixth on 45 points. Borussia Dortmund, surprising. All the way down in seventh. And speaking of Borussia Dortmund, guys, the quarterfinal matchups in the Europa League have been drawn. It is Villarreal versus Real Sociedad. It is RC Longs versus Porto. Bayern Munich will take on Napoli and we will take on Borussia Dortmund. Yeah, our next opponent is a tough one. I don't know how we will do against Borussia Dortmund in a two-legged affair. Please let me know down in the comments. How do you think realistically we could do against Borussia Dortmund? Can we beat Borussia Dortmund in a two-leg span, in a two-leg knockout fixture? In our next episode, Episode. We start in the month of April. It is away at Borussia Mönchengladbach. Then we are away in the semifinals of the Pokal. So another big thing coming up. Yeah, another big one. Uh, RB Leipzig. We've always lost to RB Leipzig every single time we played them. And this will be a test. We have to beat RB Leipzig to get to the final of the Pokal, which I think we would all love. And then we are away at Frankfurt. Three away matches, four away matches in a row. Because after the away match at Frankfurt, we are away at at Borussia Dortmund in the Europa League. Then we are at home against Borussia Dortmund in the Bundesliga. And then we are at home again against Borussia Dortmund in the Europa League. And then we finish off the month against FSV Mainz. So a lot of away matches, a lot of big matches like the semifinals of the Pokal. And we play Borussia Dortmund three times in a row. That is an absolute insane schedule. So thank you very much for watching, guys. We are basically in every competition still. We're still chasing Bayern Munich in the Bundesliga. We're in the semi-finals of the Pokal. We're in the quarter-finals of the Europa League. There's a lot of trophies to be won, and there's a lot of trophies to be lost, so I think we're just gonna take it one match at a time, one day at a time, and no pressure. As always, my friends, if you guys enjoy the episodes, please hit the like button for me. I would really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next one on the channel. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, stay happy, stay healthy, always keep smiling, and I'll see you guys in the next video, all right? Peace, 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 peace.